face him. Life, death, victory, and defeat. And through that, all things are possible. Friends, I am convinced that each of us have to not only capture the cornerstones of faith, but, but um, embrace them into life. Allow them to be a part of our DNA so that we can resist evil. So that we can see false truths or, or misguided statements and discern them through God's Word and the fellowship with other believers and understand the course in which God is sending us on. I want to begin this morning in the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 2, verse 28. Sovereign Lord, You are God. Your covenant is trustworthy. And You have promised these good things to Your servants. Now be pleased to bless the house of Your servant that it may continue forever in Your sight. For You, Sovereign Lord, have spoken and with Your blessing the house of your servant will be forever blessed. We talked last week about the sovereignty of God. One God leading the world to freedom and salvation through His one and only Son, Jesus Christ, who is not apart from us, but in us with the power of the Holy Spirit. Sovereign God means He is God and there is no other. Amen? It means His Word is trustworthy. Your promises are for your servants. The promises are the blessings that we have in holy conferencing. Even though annual conference seemed longer this year and more difficult, there were many, many blessings in it, weren't there, Aggie? I got to talk with Larry Hinkle about all of you when you were much lighter or darker colored hair and younger. And what a blessing he had serving this church. And those kind of interactions are beautiful and wonderful to remember. Um, we were trying to figure out who the name was for the bulletin that was having, um, um, uh, we had in the bulletin this week. And what, what, what year did we have? Larry Hinkle was the, pre was the pastor here. Fifty-four. I wasn't even born yet. And you people look a whole lot different. Is that right? No. Well, I still wasn't born in fifty-four. I thought I knew. But Jane, you had longer hair, and, and it looked like you were a child rock. And I thought Rob was a Chester the molester. And, and Doc had dark hair with that fireman's mustache, you know. And Linda had long hair. And so many of you were just so young looking and, and, and full of energy. Nancy, I don't know who that whole family you had around you, but you were just surrounded <coughs> by children. And it was fun to look back and see the faces of, of the patriarchs that, that have brought us to this day. Brought us to this day on the promises of God that God is God and He is trustworthy and His Word is forevermore. Amen? Because of those years gone by, we are here today. Because of His promise that is everlasting and that will outlast each one of us, there is hope for the future. Hope for that little tiny boy who wants nothing more than to want to run free and unabated. Get his pants changed once in a while. I'm going to continue in the book of John, chapter 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, for the Word was God. Amen? He was with God in the beginning, and through Him, Jesus Christ, all things were made. Without Him, nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind, the light that shines in darkness, and the darkness and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning the light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to everyone has come into the world. He was in the world, and though he was the world, he was made 
The world was made through him. The world did not recognize him. He came to, to that which was his own, but did not receive, but the, his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who would believe in his name, he gave the right to become children of God, children born of, of not natural descent, nor human decision, or a husband's will, but born of God. The Word became flesh and made its dwelling place among us, and we have seen His glory, the glory of the one and only Son who came from the Father, full of grace and full of truth. When the rain clouds come, when the waters rise, when smoke occludes our vision, stand on the one promise that is God, breathe. The Word of God. With this, we cannot fail. Without this, we are doomed. Plain and simple. Without this, we are doomed. The world is challenging this now more than ever. Even biblical scholars are arguing amongst themselves about the authenticity of the world. When we drove around to, to Atwood yesterday to see if our campsite was still there, um, they were evacuating the, the, what was called the point because the water had risen so high it reached the road. And, and we saw high waters everywhere. And it's not easy to understand or understand how our farmers are feeling forgotten and destitute when they can't farm. But amongst all that, the sun shines, amen? Amidst all that, there are opportunities to love and to care for, to die and to nurture one another in this journey of faith. Amongst that, we must be the voice of tomorrow that says, this is God's word and it is holy. <coughs> without reproach. Without error. When you, when you hear the birds, I have a bird that starts to sing at 5.30 on cue every morning. And I can't tell what bird it is, but it sounds like a beeper going off. Beep, 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 beep. I mean, it got me up a few mornings looking to see, like, what's that working? And I've had smoke alarms off, carbon monoxide detectors going off, some pump failed with water in the basement. You know, I went through it all, 5.30 in the morning. But it was just God saying, rise and shine, John. A new day I give you. And my creation sings to you. If God, the creator of heaven and earth and everything in it, is truly our God. Then in the blink of an eye, anything that is a lie or a false truth in this would never exist. Amen? It would be gone from here and from here. But for 2,000 years, His Word has existed for men and women and children to prosper by, to survive by, to share with and love with. There is no place for hate in God's world. There is no place for judgment in God's world. There is only a place for love, compassion, truth, and kindness for one another. No matter who we are. <laughs> Jesus said it best. Let he who's without sin cast the first stone. I'm a dead man walking. Fire away. I'm broken. <coughs> we have to start somewhere. We start first, first with God, the Creator, living and dwelling within us, and second, standing on the promises of His divine and holy Word. Those are the cornerstones of faith that we begin with. Not to judge. Never are we to use this as an instrument of pain. 
Never are we to use this. It's so easy to make this a club instead of blanket of love. Because evil gets in our head, amen? We think <laughs> we're too smart for ourselves. The more you go to it, and the more you cherish it, the more you hold it, and the more it becomes part of you, the more you realize the beauty in it, the truth that is in it. In 2 Timothy, it was written, But as for you, beloved, continue in what you have learned and become convinced of. Because you know those from whom you have learned it. And how from infancy you have known the Holy Scriptures, which are able to make you wise for salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. All Scripture is god breathed and useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness, so that the servant of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. King Christ can't live within us unless His Word lives within us. When you go home tonight, when you're about to put your head down for a nap, look at His gift. Look for the red pages. And realize what's been given to us to call ourselves, to be called children. Children of the Most High God. Let us pray. Precious and Holy God. So often we wander from the truth, and the truth has been given to us for so long. Restore in us a new heart. Open our minds for your will and your way. And allow us to embrace without fear and anxiety the truth that is your own. In the precious and powerful name of Christ our Lord, we pray.